today we are going to discuss the voltage multiplier circuit. As the name suggests that these type of circuits are used to step up the voltages. Then the question comes in mind because uh, the device is not a generator. Then how we are getting the more voltages at what cost at what cost? So this is the question we to think. Okay. Transformer can be used as a voltage doubler, but uh, in case of transformer, input is AC and output will be also AC alternating. And moreover, transformer is based on the principle of electromagnetic induction. Okay. Our next question is, what's the difference between a transformer and a voltage multiplier circuit in which we use diodes and capacitors, okay? A voltage multiplier circuit is actually a modification of the capacitor filter circuit, okay? And with the help of that, we can have double the voltage or even more. Now this is the circuit, you know, half wave voltage doubler circuit. Okay. Now this is the this is the input. 
input is alternating and this is the peak value of the input which is uh, Vs mean signal maximum voltage signal maximum Vs maximum then we are using a circuit like here is a transformer the primary of the transformer then here the iron cord the straight lines then secondary of the transformer at the one end of the secondary a capacitor is attached and uh, the other plate of the capacitor two diodes are connected like uh, this is the diode you know first diode okay and uh, this one is the second diode two diodes are connected so this is the diode D1 okay and this is the diode number 2 which is D2 D1 D2 and then again a capacitor is attached at the output side right uh, this is the simple circuit now what happens when the positive half of the signal comes here okay positive half of the signal comes here and the signal is like this you know increasing and more increasing and more increasing what happens now the capacitor is uh, you know like uh, it is a short path for the changing voltage so with the result what happens uh, this diode you know D1 because uh, this is the P of the diode okay and positive half positive is going on so this diode becomes forward biased if this is forward bias, it acts as a short circuit for ideal diode. For considering an ideal diode, it acts as a short circuit. Okay. And then what happens? At the same time, this will be the reverse bias because uh, there's a positive going and uh, this is N. N is at positive. Moreover, you know, here there will be a negative at that time. So here P will be negative with respect to N or you can say N is positive with respect to P. So this will be at reverse biased. So it act as a it act as a open circuit. So with this result what will happen is a short circuit here. The capacitor, this capacitor will charge. It will charge with the, this maximum voltage, Vs maximum. So here a voltage appears across the capacitor equals to Vs maximum. And at that time diode D2, it is in a off condition and C1 charge to Vs maximum. Okay. Now when the negative half of the signal, this one, negative half of the signal, like the it appears at here, so what will happen? You know, this with this negative half, this diode will be reverse biased. So it will act as a, here it is open circuit. So it is open circuit now. The same time with this negative half, this diode D2 becomes forward biased so this if this is forward bias if it is ideal doubt it acts act as a short circuit if it act as a short circuit what happen now then then you know this capacitor will charge now capacitor c2 will start will start charging you know it will start charging with now there are the two voltages one is the supply voltage okay and other is the voltage which is across this capacitor so now this capacitor will charge it will charge with this voltage 
of the secondary end with this voltage which is across this capacitor so this will okay naturally it will charge with twice now because of the voltage at here and voltage at here so it will charge with twice the vs maximum okay so this what happens Now again for the for the next cycle you know this one what happen when this this one arrives here again the diode D2 it becomes an open circuit okay now what will happen the ready the char this capacitor having the voltage to v to vs maximum so now this capacitor will discharge itself through through some load resistance which is connected at here it will discharge now and that is shown like this the discharging rate is very low okay and meanwhile what happen again the things becomes other way here the negative half comes when negative half comes again this becomes the short circuit and again the capacitor again gets the charge twice v maximum okay again the other cycle comes then this becomes a open circuit then the capacitor discharge itself so this process repeats on and we will get a rectified voltage and moreover the double voltage twice the voltage present at here twice okay rectified as well as the twice Now, when there is uh, no load across the capacitor, means there is no load here, then both the capacitor will be at the charge condition. C1 is charged to Vs maximum, mean this one, and C2 is charged to two device of that voltage. Okay. Now, throughout the negative half cycle, when the negative half cycle at here, you know this this is this diode is forward biased, so this is a continuous path. Then this capacitor will charge up, and C two gets the charge again, yet again, the same. If it discharges, but when the negative half comes again, it gets the charge, the same. In the next cycle. Uh, was half which is filtered by mean of the capacitor filter is obtained across the capacitor C2 and here the ripple frequency is same as the original frequency okay Now we'll discuss the full wave voltage doubler. Okay. Now the circuit like this, there's a transformer. The primary winding, the straight lines are in core, secondary winding. Here the peak voltage is Vs maximum across here. 
then we are using two diodes d this is t1 diode this is the first diode and this one is the second diode and p n this is n p remember and we are using two capacitors c1 and c2 and this terminal is connected it here and we are getting output across the two points so when positive of the input diode d1 when here will be the positive half comes what happen the diode this diode this will be short circuit it act as a short circuit so what will happen this capacitor will charge a charge it will get the charge okay c1 so will gets the charge to it will it will get charge to this voltage so this voltage appears here across the capacitor positive negative right and at the same time when here it is positive and uh, if here is positive mean this line this line here it is positive end of the diode d2 is positive mean this is reverse bias it will act as a open circuit so nothing will happen to this capacitor okay only this capacitor will gets the charge right now when the negative half of the signal appears here what will happen you know this diode will be in off position because p is at negative and at the same time because here is negative half so negative is negative to the end so this diode becomes at the forward bias okay so this is forward bias this is forward bias because this negative is at here forward bias means short circuit if this is short circuit and uh, this is negative 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 mean capacitor will get the charged will get charged and negative to this split and here is positive and positive to this split that the capacitor again gets the charge this c2 capacitor c2 now gets charged to vs maximum previously this capacitor c1 gets charged to vs maximum now the c2 gets charged to vs maximum now just note it down here first total voltage total is this one plus minus again plus minus so they add up the two add up and vs maximum plus vs maximum becomes 2 vs maximum okay 